Hello and welcome to this simple 15-minute Qigong meditation. Thank you all so much for joining in here live and for those of you, hello, who are watching on the replay. So we're going to be doing a nice, very, very easy, simple Qigong meditation that you can really do any time of day. You can do it first thing in the morning when you wake up to kind of give yourself good energy throughout the day. You can practice it in the middle of the day like it is right now if you need a midday break or you just need to stop the momentum of a busy day or you can practice it before going to bed and it'll help you get a nice peaceful deep sleep. So it's a great practice to do anytime. So during this video here we're going to talk for a few minutes and then we'll do the 15 minute med meditation and then we'll kind of check in afterwards. So if you're watching live, I'd love to hear where you're watching from and uh, and uh, uh, and if you have any kind of experience with meditation or qigong and if you've been practicing for very long. And uh, I, just, I just love hearing from people, so just feel free to say hello. So if you have done some meditation in the past, you know that there are many, many different types of practices. There are some that are very, very structured. There are some that are very uh, more relaxed in terms of their structure. And there's some that involve a lot of visualization, some that involve more like breath work. And all of the ty different types of meditation, they're all very useful. I think of it almost like a, uh, a toolbox where you have all these different tools. Like you have a hammer, a screwdriver, a paintbrush, and you just use them at different times. So there's no one type of meditation that you have to follow the your entire time here. Uh, you can vary it up and try different, use different tools at different times. So this style that we're going to do today is a kind of meditation that people often start with. They're beginning their Qigong journey and they say, okay, I'm going to do a little meditation and they're going to start with this style. And then after a little bit of time, they start doing other styles and, and other practices, different breathing techniques and different visualization. And then after 20, 30, 40 years of practicing, they're doing all the advanced kind of practices and they come right back to this type of meditation. So meaning that it's very simple, it's straightforward, it's all about the quality of your practice and how present you can be, how focused and how clearly you can kind of keep your mind in the present moment. And that's really what meditation is about, is keeping your mind from the millions of thoughts that we have down to the present moment. That's meditation at its core. So in Qigong meditation though, it's a little bit little bit a little bit different uh, qigong meditation is um is a little bit more focused where we're guiding our mind in a particular direction i just realized i didn't introduce myself so uh just in case you don't know me my name is jeffrey chan i'm an acupuncturist practitioner of traditional chinese medicine and qigong instructor and uh, i teach uh, and, and share qigong concepts ideas and uh, practices in what's called the community and this is a collection of many uh different qigong practices that you can that are short from five minutes up to an hour there's meditation there's tcm or chinese medicine concepts and we discuss all these different types of things and really the idea is to provide all the different tools and skills so that you can kind of synthesize it for yourself now let's talk about making your own formula creating your formula for wellness um, maybe you have all the rules maybe you have it all figured out already but most people need to kind of add different things in try different things and experiment and eventually you find your own formula and that's when you can be the most vibrant most most healthy so i love seeing people uh, uh, get healthier and figure out their their formulas so i just want to say hello to teresa and uh, south of england jeanette and uh, texas and I believe that Florida, Mary Ellen, and Ola from Mexico, and uh, Vermont, welcome. Welcome, everybody. Thank you so much for saying hello. Okay, so um, Qigong meditation, this form here is, is a little bit more focused. So, oops, going to get my head here. Um, so what we're doing is we're, we're breathing with intention. Now, if you study different types of uh, meditation practices, they'll say, you know, it's just about being present and, and being still, being here and now. And that's a great type of focus. But with Qigong meditation, we're often using some sort of intention. We're taking our mind and we're guiding it in a, in a direction. We're not using force. We're not being willful. We're just gently guiding it forward. So typically we have a point A and a point B. And uh, try not to get it over my head. Uh, we're starting where we're at and we have a little bit of a goal of where we want to be. So point A, where we're, where we're at. Point B, where do we want to be? So as before we begin our meditation right now, you can start to think about where do you want to be? Where do you want your mind to be? Where do you want your body to be, your energy, your spirit? Where do you want your time and energy to be going? 
So it could be that you want to be in a more tranquil space. You feel tense and you want to feel relaxed. You feel um, low energy and you want to be energized. You feel cluttered and busy-minded and you want to be still and clear-minded. So think about your point B, where do you want to go? That is one of the uh, nice things about Qigong practice is that it, it allows us to use our intention to think about where do I want to go? It's kind of like aligning everything. We're, we're aligning all of our, our, our thoughts, our desires, our wishes, all our subconscious information. So we're asking ourselves, what do you want to feel? What do you want to feel? Uh, and you can leave a, if, if you have an idea very clearly, like you know exactly what you want to feel, feel free to let me know because I, I like hearing the way people word it. I know what, what I'm always trying to, um, to experience, but, uh, but it's good to hear what other people are thinking about. So the other uh, factor with this kind of Qigong meditation is we have a little bit of intention going from point A to point B. And, uh, and then we also are breathing into the Dan Tian. So the Dan Tian is translated as a lower heaven. Tian means heaven, Dan, lower. And so it's a lower heaven. So it's a little bit below the belly button. It's kind of in the center of the body. So this is kind of the center of the gravity of the body. So all of our Qi, our energy, our root energy is stored in the Dan Tian. So when we breathe into the Dan Tian, over time, maybe at first we don't feel anything, but over time we start to feel the energy, we start to feel warmth, we start to feel a fullness in the Dan Tian, and then over time it gets bigger and bigger. It's kind of like a tiny little glowing sun in the, in the belly. Um, it could be white, could be golden, could be sparkly, could be invisible. Some people really feel the Dan Tian, other people don't. So everyone's just a little bit different. But over time, you will start to prob most people will start to feel a little bit of a presence in the Dan Tian. So during this practice here, that's what the main the two main two main things that we're going to be doing is is having an intention and breathing into the Dan Tian. So right now you can start to think about what do you want to feel, and try to have a very short, succinct, accurate, and honest statement. I want to feel relaxed. I want to feel energized. I want to feel uh, clear-minded. <laughs> I want to remember my words. And uh, we can have it, we can try to formulate it in a way that's affirmative and it's positive. So we, we try to avoid saying, I don't want to be anxious. I don't want to be distracted or <laughs> de uh, depressed. We try to avoid saying the negative and we try to choose the affirmative. So instead of saying depressed, but what's the opposite of depressed? Maybe happy? Okay, I want to feel happy or I am happy. Now, uh, we have to really find phrases that resonate with us, that feel real, feel honest, and uh, we could actually believe them. So if, if I would, were to say, I am 15 feet tall, well, I'm not, just in case you're wondering, and um, I wouldn't believe that, that I would ever be 15 feet tall. So it's too big of a jump. So it could be something like, I have good posture, <laughs> um, and, uh, or I feel relaxed, my muscles are relaxed, my jaw is relaxed. Um, I can think clearly, I can plan my day very accurately, I can manage stress, like positive things. So think about that for yourself. Think about I am and fill in the phrase. So what we're going to do now is um, I'm going to uh, switch over, I'm going to disappear into the corner and uh, we'll do the meditation for 15 minutes. It's going to be very simple. I'll give a little bit of uh, guidance and a little bit of prompts, but the majority of time it's just going to be practicing in silence. And uh, if you are watching live here, as, uh, as uh, some of us are here from, uh, from Wales and from Hercules, California and New Jersey, if you're uh, watching here live, just really try to feel as if we're, we're here together. And I think that's the nice thing about uh, a Qigong practice and we're practicing together is that, you know, maybe we're spread out a little bit. But we are practicing and we're, we're together. We can be here just for, for this moment. Perhaps it's a new way of connecting in, in this modern day and age. So just take a few moments and just make yourself comfortable. I'm going to stand. Uh, you, can, you can practice meditation while you're standing in what's called the ready position. You can sit down, sit comfortably uh, in a chair. You can sit on the cushions. Uh, you can lay down if you need to. Laying down, you just have to be careful that you don't fall asleep or fall off your bed. But just um, sitting up or standing is good. With Qigong meditation, it's always nice to kind of stand very relaxed in what's called the ready position, where your body's relaxed, your joints are not locked, they're very soft, your body feels very flexible, like a really tall, skinny tree that kind of is waving in the wind. That's the kind of feeling you want to have when you're standing. 
Okay, so if you're all ready, everybody's all ready, I can feel everyone's ready here. Okay, so just stand comfortably or sit comfortably and take three deep natural breaths. Breathe in deeply through the nose and breathe out through the mouth. Two more, breathing in. Breathing out. Last one, breathing in. And breathing out. Now just relax your entire body. Allow your body, your mind, your soft tissue, your bones, your muscles, Allow your entire being to just relax and unwind. Notice that your shoulders start to drop, your jaw starts to loosen, your weight sinks down into the earth, your feet feel connected to the earth, and the top of your head feels connected to the sky. Now bring your awareness to your Dantian the space just three inches below the belly button in the center of the body. And every time you breathe in, just imagine that Dantian area getting warm and full and tingly. And as you breathe out, let go of any tension, any worries, and anything unnecessary. And just breathe.
and just take a moment to scan through your body, starting with the top of your head. Just relax and release any tension that's on the top of your head, any tension on your neck, your upper body, your upper neck, your shoulders, relax your upper arms, your elbows, your forearms, wrists, your hands, and your fingers. Release anything unnecessary from your chest, your diaphragm, your stomach, your low back, your hips, the front of your legs, the back of your legs, release the knees, the calves, the ankles, let go of any tension that's in the bottom of the feet. Bring your tension back to your Dantian and breathe deeply into the Dantian and allow yourself to be healthy, vibrant, happy, full of life, full of energy and vitality. And continue breathing into the Dantian. Just take a moment to notice your breath. Notice the air going in through the nose, down into the Dantian, and coming back up and out. Notice every sensation with your breath. Anytime you find your mind wandering, just bring yourself back to your breath and back to your Dan Tian.
Just take a moment to check in with your body. Release any tension. Let go of anything that's unnecessary from your body, from your muscles, from your joints, from your bones, and from your skin. And notice your thoughts. Just watch them as if you're watching a river run by you. Just notice what you're thinking about and let it flow by. And bring yourself back to your breath, back to the Dantian, breathing deeply and naturally. Bring your attention back to the phrase that you kept in your mind. I am relaxed. I am peaceful. I am calm. I am energized. I am healing. I am full of life. I am abundant with energy. She is moving smoothly. My body's taking care of me. I'm thinking clearly. I'm seeing clearly. I feel connected to myself. I feel connected to others. I am here and I am now. Breathe into the Dantian. slowly bring yourself back to your body. You can wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes, roll your shoulders around, turn your head, and we'll conclude by taking three deep natural breaths, but as we breathe out, we're going to say the sound ha, as if we're very relaxed and relieved. Breathe in. Ha. Second time, breathing in. Ha. And last one, breathing in. Ha. And you're all done. Wow. 
Well, thank you all so much. Are we here? Is everybody here right now? <laughs> well, thank you all so much for, for joining and practicing. You can use this technique anytime you want. It's very good for rejuvenating, restoring. It's great for relaxing. And Qigong and meditation is a practice. The first time you do it, you may be okay at it. But as you keep doing it, it gets better and better. So that you can just really be present as you're breathing, and as you're you're connected to that moment and connected to the breath. And it can be that simple. I know sometimes we want some fancy novel type of techniques, but a lot of the... Um, the uh, Qigong masters who've been practicing for decades and they come back to the simple practices because simple often works best. So let me know in the comment section um, what, uh, what you felt and how, how, you, how you felt during this practice. I'd love to hear from you and, and thank you again so much for, for joining. And uh, uh, just double check back in here, New Jersey, I think we said hello, and Brazil from Rio de Janeiro. Hello from Connecticut and in Minnesota. Wonderful. Miss Q did a two hour yoga meditation. Wow. Oh, wow. Okay. And haha, -ha, slowly getting, slowly getting back. Great. Hello from the UK. You're very welcome. And you're welcome heaps. And thank you. Great. Well, this is just this is just wonderful. I haven't um, done too much of these uh, live meditations like this, but it's great to, uh, to to try different things and feel connected like this. And um, um, if you if you missed the be the beginning here, this is um, uh, we we do lots of content like this in the community, and uh, uh, the community has we're always adding new content to it. And I just really want to provide people with. A variety of tools to help them if if we're going through difficult or stressful times if there's some difficult times ahead of us then we just want to have as many things available to us as possible and if there's one thing i can get across if there's uh just to try to communicate is just tune in and see what works best for you just always ask yourself what is going to work for me try something does this work yeah, a little bit. Does this work? No. Does that work? Whoops. Does that work? Absolutely. Okay, great. Create your own formula. Unfortunately, no one is going to be able to say, hey, here's your magic formula. Here's the magic pill. I don't think that's going to happen yet. Maybe it will. But, um, but what we can do is take care of ourselves. And really, when we look around and we see a lot of difficult situations and people going through a rough time, we can help them for sure. And uh, if we have the capacity, we should but we can also really take care of ourselves, make sure that we feel abundant, we feel energized, we feel like we have a good sense of chi and, and vitality so that we can help other people because we don't want to jump into the water when we can't swim. And uh, so I, I really highly encourage uh, cur encourage you to, to find your own way and of course to come explore the community if you're interested. Um, Yes, and thank you so much, and uh, and thank you all one for for your comments, and and uh, and uh, we'll we'll see you again. So I'm going to play this little uh, this outro here. Um, thank you again so much for uh, thank you again. Like I really, this is great, wonderful to connect like this. All right. Well, we'll see you next time. And bye now. <laughs> If you've enjoyed this style of Qigong, please come join the community for a wide variety of Qigong routines that's ideal for beginners or if you already have some experience. The community has convenient, simple Qigong practices that are safe, gentle, and effective to help you feel healthy and full of vitality. Come join us today. If you haven't already, be sure to sign up for a newsletter in the link below so we can notify you when we release new YouTube videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.